Hey everyone, FPS Chesley here. Welcome back to Let's Play Dangerous Waters Redstone Rising. This is time on target, and we are approaching the launch area. I'm going to speed it up to five knots here just because I want to make sure I get to this Restart launch area in a timely manner. I think right now my ETA is about an hour. So it seems like we have a something out here that seems to be pretty close. Because these look like to be... It looks like it's an interceptor like right there. <laughs> Uh, so, mm, I don't know if I should be on this fast right now. Let me, uh... Eh. Yeah, see, like, those are really changing, like, really... <laughs> okay, well, we know he's going about four or five knots, so let me... Let's, uh, change this back to 20-minute interval here, and let me see what we got. Okay, I just put him right there with that solution. What's the signal strength on that? Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's... No, that wouldn't work right there. Death is not feasible. It wouldn't be... Well... No, yeah, it would be. If he was going slower, it would look like that, wouldn't it? I think. I need to get into that on the TMA tutorial. <laughs> That'll be for later, though. This is not a TMA tutorial right now. If he was really that close, I would expect those pings to be pretty loud, though. And he has been generally moving this way, I think. Well, let's look at the... Let's look at here. This is kind of constant. The trend is kind of constant for this guy. For Sierra 12. Who's this other line? I don't know. It's a reciprocal or something, but... Sierra 12 is who I care about here. And it's holding pretty constant. So... It means he's running parallel to us or something. Which, this would actually... If he was running parallel, he'd have to be, like, up here, wouldn't he? Oh, I don't know. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, it could be more or less, like, heading towards us. Doesn't necessarily be parallel, does he? See, that wouldn't work. That wouldn't be constant bearing. So I think he'd be have to be more closer, like, this or something. He had to he he'd have to be on this side of the uh of the of the intercept, wouldn't he? To be heading parallel. Or to be holding at least somewhat constant bearing or something like that. Oh man. Uh uh Jesus. I don't really like that. Do not really like. <laughs> Do not approve. I don't we're not sure if it's a a Victor or a Nustrashimi or a Grisha. Ooh, yes, I'm going too fast to maintain continuous comms. Let's go to... Oh, no, 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 stop. Uh, no, do not change any of that. I'm going to slow down the three knots here first. Two, zero. Bring us in. Knots, I, don't, I think you can definitely chop this in the default DW. If that goes down, it'll go right into the prop and get chopped if I try and decrease my depth here. So let me bring this bad boy back in first. Or I'm gonna do something hasty that I'm gonna regret. But yeah, based on this, it's looking like constant bearing, which would mean parallel or distant. But this data does not really support distant a distant conclusion. Well, I'm looking at Sierra One. Let me look at Sierra Twelve. That's the guy who I'm getting on the. See, we have different data here. These are different contacts because those pings sound pretty distant. Uh, who was this other guy? There was a toad contact. That's the toad contact I was just looking at. Who's Sierra 13? What is Sierra 13 looking like? Is that supporting the Sierra 1 data? Yes, it is. So we have two different contacts out here. Okay, very good. So Sierra 12 is someone. Yeah, well, yeah. Sierra 12 is someone else, and then there's a whole different contact. That's probably a distant contact, Sierra 12, then. Let me look at Sierra 12. Yeah, okay, see, this is supporting the parallel conclusion here of, like, running with us right now. No, not ten knots. You're crazy. Four knots. But if he is running parallel, oh my god, that have to be pretty close. He would have to be pretty close to be running parallel with us. Yowzers. Okay, that's pretty close. Alright, let's look at CR1 and CR13 again. Because they are... This is really looking like they're one and the same here, but I'm not sure what I'm not too sure what he is doing. It definitely looks like it's a uh, someone heading the other way. It's probably a surface ship. Well, yeah, it is because it's pinging. 
Uh, let's just go with some uh, default 10 knots kind of thing and just say he's going the other direction. That puts him about you know, 16 nautical miles away. And I, I think CR6 is supposed to be with him too, actually. With uh, Master 1, first Master Track merge. Yeah, it's a. Uh, seems to be more or less supporting that conclusion. Yeah, not too. Uh, he, I mean, he could be going faster, who knows. But yeah, those pings sound pretty distant. That they do. Uh, yeah, you know, just lose solution here and move it a little closer. Maybe 15 knots. That far away? Potentially, I could be. But no, I think he's a little slower than that. He's, I think he's a little closer based on just what I'm hearing from that ping. But yeah, so CR12. Oh! Am I even like. CR12, this could be an LA that I'm looking at right now, dude. <laughs> Okay, I don't even have a tracker on him. What bearing am I expecting that 320? I think I'm just looking at LA right now. Freaking out for no reason, yeah. <laughs> I'm making a solution on someone who's flying in formation with me, so that's why he looks like he's so close aboard. <laughs> That'll do it, donkey. So yeah, five knots. Of course, probably 214 or something. And probably pretty close too, yeah. So that, yeah, I mean that that makes sense. I've been worrying about this for the wrong reasons. I was looking at the uh, the sonar for this guy, so I think yeah, this is probably a Nanuchka or something. Or uh, what else could that be? Uh, Nutrashimi, Nanuchka. Yeah, it's one of those two. So classify that down to one of two guys. I'm gonna go ahead and say Nanuchka. Why? I don't know. Assumed hostile, no, hostile. Confidence medium. Some Nanushka way the hell out there. Alright, now let's go to 5 knots and let's drop it to 150 to feet. Knots, Probably gonna lose some summer performance. One, five, I don't know if I can keep the floating wire streamed. It. Oh my god, it's, I still just don't have that floating wire out right now, dude. Uh, so speed up time, hurry up. Hey, God, hey, sonar, hey. I have a new contact. Bearing one, new pings five, from the one, south. Designated Sierra one, That's fun. Alright, let's stream this back boy. I need to make sure I'm maintaining continuous comms. Okay, it's all the way out there now. Now it's going to be like deflecting from the. Eh, I can't go this fast to keep it up. Maybe four knots will be fine. Make turns for four knots. Maneuvering Is on. Is that good enough to keep it on the surface? I'll get up there. You know you want to. Get up there. Oh, I don't know if that's enough. Okay, I think that should be enough for continuous cams. That would have a. I do have a link down on them. Okay, uh, yeah, Toad Performance has taken a little bit of a hit. I can probably stream a little more of that out, actually. Uh, yeah, I should be able to stream a little more of that. Let me, uh, mm, I kind of want to come a little shallower. But I'm, I'm going to chop that Toad if I do. Okay, so who's Mr. Ping down here? The one that we've got, 151. Let's look at him on the Toad here. Whoa, that was weird looking. Okay, I don't know, it looked like it was, like, speeding up or something. Yep, I'm getting a whiff of something down there. 50. Con, sonar. I have Just one little frequency Barry. line there. One, five, two, Trying to a little more slack zero. on the toad one, here. Five. Am I getting any acuity back? Yeah, maybe a little bit here. Let's go and see what we got. Yep, I gained it back. Okay, that's good. I should be able to see a little bit more on this dude, hopefully. Let's see, man. Nope, really distant contact, only getting one frequency. 50 hertz. Someone, someone way the hell down there. Okay. Uh, I might go even shallower. I don't know. I don't want to. Really, I'm going to lose more, even more acuity on my, on these sensors. Yeah, they, this is when I went from 200 to 150. You can see the gradient right there. Mm. Well, I guess as long as I have the toe, that should be fine. Here, let me. Uh, Bring you back in real quickly so I can get a little shallower here. I just want to make sure it doesn't get cut. I want to get up there and I want to stay at like 100 feet. Make my depth so I can go one, five knots and keep zero, the floating wire zero, streamed because that thing really up. does not like to be streamed at high speed. All right, let's get this bad boy out of here. Let's go five knots here. Make turns for five knots, maneuvering eye. All right, yeah, get out there, get up there, dude. There you go. Very good. 
Now I can go five knots and don't give a crap. Oh, I barely can. Oh my god, I can barely hold it up there. Okay, it looks like we're not going much faster than four knots here, then. For four knots, maneuvering eye. Mm. I might as well go back a little deeper, then. I'm just going to lose some sonar signal up depth. here. Some One, sonar strength. Three, zero feet, dive eye. All right, yeah, that's fine. We'll just have to keep this. Okay, and I haven't missed the order yet, so that's good. <laughs> oh, this guy was freaking me out. <laughs> it's a freaking L.A., man. Los Angeles, high, friendly. I guess I could do the same thing for Sierra 11. Same dealio. Speed, 5 knots. Eh, course 2 and 5. I guess 225 is really the course you want. And let's bring it in. Okay, he's probably, his course is probably a little different than it looks like. Eh, like it, it is, something like that. There you go. Cool. Alright, I think that's it. There might be more. This guy. Well. Okay, I just have them on different arrays. I think it's the same track. CR11 and CR3. Just doing some practice TMA here. Merge. There you go. They look like one and the same, don't they? Gone, sonar. Torpedo in the Holy water. crap. Zero, one. Gone, sonar. Oh my good there. lord. Zero, one, one. Designated zero, Holy shit. One. Uh, fire. Aye, one, Who the hell? Oh my god, what the hell? Who the frick is up there? And someone just dropped a freaking rocket toward man. Can I get a quick <laughs> I'm pausing, I'm sorry. Uh I'm gonna get I'm gonna try and get a quick classification on this doucher. Uh zoom in. 50, 125, 360, 755, I think. Uh 750. Tiger Fist torpedo APR 2E torpedo. What? I have a feeling these frequencies don't really line up from in-game to out-of-game here. But there's no one else behind me. Oh, well, this is the, this is the real one here. Is that, there's no one at 11. Not seeing anything. The torpedo is going from... It's changing course rather rapidly. So, ugh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, let's start bringing you back in. Let's go ahead standard here. Let's... Reload these. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? He's changing bearing rather quickly. Changing bearing really quickly. Oh my good lord. Is it on me? Am I dead? I think I'm dead. I think it has me. I think it has me. Oh god. Oh god. I think it has me. I think it does. It's not pinging, but I think it has me. Oh, shit. Fuck. Oh. I'm alive. I'm alive. What the hell? Alright, turn this way. Uh, retrieve. Oh, I should have been a... Holy crap, there it is right there. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was it right there. Did you see that? Slow down, slow down. It just skipped along the surface. What the fuck? Uh, holy crap, that was scary. And it just died. What the hell was that? It was skipping along the surface. There. Yeah, slow the hell down. I don't want to be making any more noise here. I'm just gonna return to previous track. And I have it says I haven't been detected, so I don't know what the hell that was. Ugh. That is weird, dude. What the hell was that? Oh shit. Another one. Oh my god. Where's this guy going? Who is this guy? Shit. Wait, 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 wait. Who was on 023? Where is 023 before I get carried away here? It's my countermeasure field. No, it's not. They're both still there. What's on 023? 
I don't know, but uh, this is not good here. All head standard. How am I? And these are still reeling. I can't do much. So getting behind my countermeasure field here. All head full. All head full. Oh Jesus! Someone is locked on. He's locked on. All right, flank it. We have another array. It doesn't matter. Flank it. Get me out of here. Head for the bottom. Crash dive. Make my depth five, three. Zero. Oh, good lord. What the hell is going on, man? On Fuck. This is it. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, fuck. Uh, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. Why am I not dead? Oh, uh, why am I not dead? What the hell is going on, man? <laughs> Did I somehow just evade that torpedo with a crazy maneuver and get lucky? Oh, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> There's no point in living. I don't know what's going on anymore, dude. I should be dead. Like twice over, I saw the torpedo skim along the surface, and this one just like... Oh, what is going on? I'm like about to hit the bottom here. Come back up. Make my depth two. Con, sonar, four, two in the water. Oh my god, dude. What is going on? With all these torpedoes in the frickin' water, dude. I'm gonna frickin' scream at someone here. Master two, yeah, I mean my buddy's juicing it. He's flanking full speed ahead. He's getting the hell out of dodge. Ugh. Wow, wow, wow. That's really close all of a sudden south. I think he has me. It's on someone. Oh, fire. Oh, some helo found me. God damn it. Oh, it wasn't APR2E. I've never heard of that torpedo before. Some freaking helo found me. I must have gotten too shallow or something, dude. God damn it. Ugh. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.